you might hear the whirring sound of what I think is a coffee maker behind me at the Muffin House, and I am happy to welcome you to the latest edition of the Westwood Living Podcast, and I'm joined by Karen Kagan. And welcome, first of all. It's nice to meet you, and the best part about this conversation is that I'm really having my first ever conversation with you right now recorded for, you know, the world to hear. So how are you? I'm great, Tom. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you, too. Yeah, it's great. But the reason that we're speaking is because next Wednesday... The 8th is a pretty special day in your world with the Westwood artists because there's a very special event happening at the Westwood Media Center, I Heart Westwood, and it emanates from a lot of hard work that you and a core of individuals have been doing for a number of years with the Westwood artists. So let's talk a little bit about it, how Westwood artists started, a little bit about yourself, and let's just get people excited about what's happening next Wednesday. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, Westwood artists started in, um, well, we might have been talking a little bit before 2016, because I've known Lisa Walker for a long time, and I've known Carol Ahern for a long time. And so um, we, somehow, the five of us got together, and then we started chatting about it because we were always doing our art in other towns and there used to be a Westwood art group at one point that Lisa was involved with years ago and that disbanded and kind of wanted to start something in town so we started talking and then Melinda Garfield was new to what was called Westcat at the time which is now the media center and she approached us in 2016 in the spring and asked us if we could do some kind of a gallery have a gallery space to showcase our artwork. She really wanted to do that. So that kind of started the ball rolling. And then our first ever public appearance, the five of us, me, Lisa Walker, Carol O'Hearn, 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 Kathy Zola, and Jane Wojcik, we met to do Westwood Day 2016. Great. And that was our very first show. And it's a combination of different types of art. So you're a yes. photographer, right? Yes. How about the other women that you just mentioned? And I know it goes far beyond just the five of you now, too. Yes. Um, there's uh, Lisa is a potter, has pottery, and hand-built and wheel-thrown pottery. Jane Wojcik also does pottery the same, wheel-thrown sometimes, hand-built, hand-carved. And, you know, they all, they're so great at what they do. Uh, Kathy Zola does fiber, and she does all kinds of knitting and weaving and scarves and hats and beautiful things to wear. And then Carol Ahern is a painter who mostly does watercolors and acrylics. Right, beautiful stuff. I've beautiful. definitely seen that. No beautiful. question about it. But what we're going to experience on Wednesday night is also not just a display of art, but there are a lot of musicians who are going to take advantage of the space and perform. So walk us through what we should anticipate on Wednesday night over at the Media Center. So Lisa and I, a few weeks ago, we set up the gallery. We put a call out on our email to all our artists and got... I see, I'm trying to think. There's 15 of us wow. which who are displaying. Yeah, congrats. That's great. Yeah. That's a big number. Yeah, and we have those two nice display cases over at the Media Center, and we have things on the wall, and um, it's really a beautiful display. So we set that up, and then six of us are going to be selling as vendors at the event. Myself, Carol, Rima Bachora, who does uh, mixed media. Um, it's kind of like all kinds of, I don't know, canvas and painting and there's a lot that's a mix me um and Elidi Chan is fairly new to us she does watercolors beautiful work too and am I missing somebody oh I think there might be one more person and I just kind of blanked out but anyway it's okay whoever that is don't be offended don't, there's a lot to remember that. here as we're promoting oh, what's Jane, happening next Jane's Monday. gonna be there See, sorry that's Jane. A, that's all tough. Jane who Jane Wojcik see Jane yeah. we love you Jane Karen loves you too so. <laughs> She's working so. with no notes here, people. This is not <laughs> scripted. This is off the top of her head. So it's all good. Yeah, so we're going to be there. And then uh, there's going to be food from Neroli's. There's going to be singing and uh, musicians, um, local singers. And Westwood High School will have a couple of groups performing as well. That's great. So it's really nice. And we had done one before, February 2020. And right before the pandemic started. So is this the first one since? This is the first one Great. since. Our artwork was in the media center for about three years, and we just changed it all up just recently. <laughs> it's all fine and good, but, you know, you had to make adjustments. But now we're happy to be in person again. So we've covered the collective 
which is good because collectively you've done a great job, but I want to learn a little bit more specifically about you as a photographer and you approaching photography as art and how that evolved. I mean, take me back to how you fell in love with photography. I grew up in Pittsburgh and in the 70s I was in high school and I got a little can um, it was a Instamatic camera and so I would just take pictures of my friends and goofy things and go to the football games and I'd take pictures and all that and that was fine for about five six years and then my family noticed I was so interested I always had my camera with me and so they got me this really nice Canon AE1 camera which is beautiful and it's wonderful the whole family pulled together so I still have that camera. Oh, that's great. And I don't ever want to lose it. I want to start shooting again with it. I know I can get film in some places, so I'll have to work on that. But anyway, and then the digital age came, and then I've had a few digital cameras. And now I have a Sony Alpha 6000, and it's a great, really great digital camera. So um, anyway, so then I would just start taking pictures of like mostly I was just doing you know like going to the zoo or whatever and then my kids came along and then I started taking pictures of lots of them and have their whole lives documented and I also do scrapbooking on the side okay. to document the lives so and then I started expanding to farms and well, you know Poisit Farm and different places around but Westwood I focus on a lot I've lived here almost 25 years this year 25 years and so I take pictures all around Westwood uh, Hale Reservation and um, Buckmaster Pond and anywhere in my travels and then when people come to visit me if I'm at a show I always write down a notebook if they say hey there's these great pumpkins you know it's it's in Dover it's called Smith Street pumpkins it's just at the end of a road, but it's great. And so the last few years, I've taken pumpkins, that, pictures of them there. I go to Tangerini's, take the sunflower photos every year. So it's just, I don't know, it's something that I really enjoy. I like the seasons and animals. I have a dog. and um, But I also have been a lot, a lot of times at Pawizit Farm, I've taken pictures of all the animals over the years, and I need to expand that again. So I'm always trying to change and add to what I have. And um, I don't know, it just keeps evolving. You know, I always have my camera with me. Yeah, I would today. imagine. I, I would don't have it today, but I usually have I would have gone along with that. You know, if you had said, like, I would have just played along. <laughs> we could, this isn't video. I know. <laughs> Is there a favorite uh, type of art that you like? outside of photography you know when you go to yeah. the show next Wednesday yeah. what are you going to be focused on well I have been collecting Lisa and Jane's pottery over the years I have you know a you lot of their work each other. I know Starts and I bought I bought Carol's beautiful paintings I bought Lisa, uh, Kathy's beautiful like scarves and hats and things so I think we support each other that way. We love what each other does, and we work really well together, yeah. the five of us. But I do love pottery. That's another thing I love. I've tried it once, but I am admire what they can do. So what can you tell me about the event on Wednesday? Is this something people have to buy tickets for? Is this something people just walk into the Westwood Media Center and enjoy? Walk me through that. Yeah, so you're just going to go. Um, it's from 6 to 8.30, and you can just show up on, it's 15 Pearl Wall Street, I think, and it's right on Route 1 North before Lambert's Plaza. Right. There's that little turn to the right. Um, it's on the first floor of the Mackin building, I think it's called. So if you're driving from Westwood, from Islington, I've been yeah. there a couple of times, so I'm yeah. helping people out. You want to go where the McDonald's is, take a left, head north, and again, like Karen said, it's before Lambert's, well before Lambert's. I mean, almost immediately after you make that left-hand turn on Route 1, you're going to be thinking about turning right. Yeah. And just put it in your GPS as per Wall Street, P-E-R-W-A-L, Yeah. and you'll find the Westwood Media Center, and it's worth your time because it'll also open your eyes about the great stuff that the Media Center offers to the town. You know, I sat down yeah. with Melinda, yeah. and she says, you know, th this is what we're here for. Yeah, no, no, they do a great, they're always, I work at the library, and they're always filming all different kinds of events that happen there, meetings and everything, and they're all around town, all the sports, I mean, they do an awesome job, and we've gotten to know everybody there, and they're wonderful, really great group. Well, I wish you the best, thank you for a couple of minutes here. Yeah, sure. Well, fought through some vacuuming for a while, but that's okay, <laughs> it wasn't the coffee machines worrying, by the way, we found out. It's cleaning time, apparently, at the Muffin House. <laughs>
it smells too bad, fresh. Too bad you didn't have your camera. <laughs> yeah, I know. That would have been good. <laughs> All right, that's Karen King. And uh, please check out Karen. Support her and so many of the other Westwood artists next Wednesday, February 8th at the Westwood Media Center. And as always, you can follow us in our journey at westwood-living.com. If you've got people you think would be great for me to talk to, let me know because that's what the Westwood Living Podcast is all about. Karen, thanks so much. You're welcome, Tom. Thank you. Thank you.